welcome to USC, Coach. No, I appreciate it. How's that? How's the transition from Oklahoma to USC taking over the defense? Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's it's the third time we've installed the defense now. So, I mean, there's a little bit of a, a confidence level that comes with that. Uh, I had an opportunity in this conference at Washington State several years ago, as you mentioned, at Oklahoma. Um, you know, so there's some obviously similarities in any time you, you take over. Day one of spring ball, this is year 20 for me. It has a tendency to look like spring ball, what you've been doing in a long time. And the guys been, you know, running the same calls for a while, or if it's the first time around. Um, but it, it, it's in so many ways, it's um, a tremendous opportunity for those guys in terms of a fresh start. It's a great opportunity for us in terms of a fresh start, just the same. And um, instilling expectations and habits and all those things that you do in spring football. And um, two days into it, you know, it, it's easy to say we've made progress, but we got a long, long way to go. What do you feel like your biggest strength is right now? Yeah, it's still hard to, to diagnose. I mean, I, you, you, there's, there's some guys that flash, you know, in, in the weight room. There's guys that flash in, in the winter workout period, and you see some speed at, at, in, in, with some individuals. You know, I, I highlight a guy like a Thule, for instance, a guy that, that you know, kind of matches the film that you, you kind of, as best as, and kind of talk out both sides of my mouth in terms of a fresh start for everybody. But you, you recognize some of those, those individuals that uh, have played. And, um, and so it's, it's nice to see a guy, you know, from a weight room standpoint, from a workout standpoint, and then through the first couple of days, kind of flash in some ways. And so highlight one individual that way. But uh, no, it's strengths and weaknesses. You know, right now I see a whole lot of weaknesses, and, and, and the, the strengths got to come. And um, like I said, that's not, you know, completely dissimilar to, to other places in terms of the first two days of spring. And um, cer certainly you uh, get the pads on Saturday, and we'll get a better chance to, to assess some of this stuff. Talk about Kalen Bullock and his versatility. How does he make your job easier, knowing that you can probably play him in a variety of different sure. positions? Yeah, and then, you know, another guy, young player, uh, obviously in the program, a guy that has some quality, uh, uh, you know, reps from a year ago. Um, and so I, th I think from an experience standpoint, just, you know, from a communication that, you know, the, how a guy, you know, acts in a meeting room uh, to, to how he performs on the practice field. Um, you're, you're seeing a guy that has a little bit of confidence going to his second year, which, which you would expect um, for a guy like that. And you see some speed element of things, a guy that uh, uh, could, can run the show on the back end and make some communications that way. And still a young player. You know, he, he's one of those guys that he, he's got to, you know, what's he got to fix? He's got to become a, a bigger athlete. He, you know, the, the, the sport demands that of you. Um, and, and so he's one of those guys. He's got to put on some weight. He's, he's got to put on some muscle. He's got he's got to he's got to look like a second year guy. You know, and the things that made him a good player, um, and, and, and give him credit for that as a freshman. Okay, well, you know, as a sophomore, the evaluation changes. You know, it, it uh, you kind of get graded as a curve. You know, freshman in general. And so um, we have high expectations for him. And uh, um, he, he's got uh, certainly got a long way to go, but we're excited. About it. What went into moving Chris Thompson down the linebacker, and how has that looked so far? As much as anything, just trying to maximize the roster. You know, I, mean, I think as you, as you look uh, at every position, you know, one of the roles as, as a coach is to try to, you know, put your best 11 out there and put the next best 11 behind them and, and, and maximize the individuals that you got. Some of it in spring ball is when you have a deficiency in a certain position or from a number standpoint. Sometimes you do it for the longevity of it, what you think could happen in the fall, and then other times you do it just to get through the 15 days. I think the best position for him as we evaluate him um, to, to possibly have an impact for us, and so something we'll evaluate as we go through it. All right, thank you. Thank you. When you come into a, a new program, I guess what's step one in kind of evaluating and, and getting going for you? Uh, I think number one, you got to go build trust with your players. And um, I've always been a, uh, a fan of being able to do that uh, through consistency with them. You get the same guy every day. And, uh, if you're authentic with them and, and you're able to build trust, and you know the things that you say uh, have meaning. There's some positive things that can happen. So first thing with that, you, you got to build trust in order to build uh, any kind of standard that we want to uphold here. So um, that's the, the first order of business. Uh, it's still early for you and, and kind of getting into What have you learned uh, about about your room, about your guys there? Uh, about my room in particular, I've got a very willing room that's, that's listening and, and they're, they're working hard. They've done a really good job in terms of uh, soaking in the information and, and really uh, doing their best to learn it and apply it. Um, seen some improvements from day one to day two, just like you'd like to see. Nowhere near where you need to be. Um, Got a long ways to go, obviously, and that's coaches speaking on that. But um, I'm excited about their intent, uh, but we've got to get so much better. It's not even, it's not fun.
Ray, Ray John Davis was the guy who came here with a lot of expectations. Uh -huh. We didn't see him much last year. What have the conversations been like with him this offseason and this spring? I got to be very honest with you. It's, you know, did, did you envision your career going like this after one year? And I think that no matter the external factors, I think you got to look at it in terms of, okay, what can I do about it? What's my response? Uh, this season and this off season, and what can I do about uh, taking control of my own career and uh, making it right and getting it to the point where it's something that I can be proud of and something that I envisioned happening. So that's that's kind of been the conversations with him um, as far as maturity level and, and work ethic and, and uh, all that. It's you know it's got to all be in alignment in terms of what you what you anticipate your your career going on. and understand that the work that it's going to take to be able to get there. And he's done a good job with his response so far. It's been exciting. How much has someone like Shane helped provide an example for him? I think it's for everybody. I don't think it's just for that owner. He adds a lot to the room. Uh, but his experiences, the way he talks, uh, the way he carries himself, the way he works, uh, his demeanor, um, he's all about ball. Everybody enjoys being around him. You know he's a serious guy. Um, but he's built quite the reputation to, to start, for sure. Raylan Gofor is a guy that, that kind of has put in the extra work. He's been kind of quiet when it when it comes to that. But in terms of leadership on the field and all that, he's, he's kind of brought that his career. What, yeah, what have you seen and, from you know, him? him and I sat down and we had a conversation when we first got here. And, um, it was it was geared towards, you know, what were his goals and what he wanted to get out of his, his last bit of experience here at USC. And, um, you know, he's he's done a great job. I think that, you know, in his, in his mind, I think that, that he's he's working as hard as he's ever worked before. And, and it's my job to continue to push him and, and make him realize that there's more out there. Uh, he had a great day today, very active. Um, but again, I'm, I'm, I've been excited about Raylan because of his experience, because of the, the way he's carried himself. Um, but again, with all these guys, and with Raylan even included, like we've got to get so much better. We've got to have the mindset that, that we've got to get so much better here um, over the next few months. Are there specific areas where that? I mean, is that physically, mentally? Everything. You name it. <laughs> Tying your shoes. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's nothing we can't get better. At. What are the traits that you prize most in your linebackers? Toughness. Um, Intelligence, leadership, character, um, strength, speed, um, you name it. Let's do one more here. Sorry for this the beginning, but uh, what are your initial thoughts with uh, Rajon Davis? Do you already talk about it? Yeah, no, um, we, we talked about it. You know, but as far as Rajon, he's a guy who's played different spots in the world. He can play anything from corner to nose tackle. But, you know, I want, he's, he's a great player, but I want him to be elite. So what's what's the thing he has to do to become elite? Consistency, just make every single play, every single down, you know. But um, but he wants that too. So that's the beauty about Tuli. Very smart, very tough, uh, very versatile. So he's 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 what you want. So you, you haven't decided where, where you want him to slot in exactly? Um, not yet. He'll be everywhere. Yeah, he can play everything, I'm serious. When it comes to young, talented defensive linemen like Corey, where do you usually see the biggest jump year one to year two? Where? What, when you say where? Or what element of the game maybe do you feel you like having that always want him to be a year? complete player. I know he's, he's a he's really, really good pass rushing, but unfortunately they run the ball too. So you want to see you know the improvement as a whole, not just a pass rush, just running the ball and, and you know and playing the run, be tough and be physical at the point of contact. But um, I think where you start seeing it, you know, it's his second year and stuff. You, you hope the sooner the better. But um, and I think he does. He wants to. So we're excited for him. When you look at the strengths of your front last year at Michigan, mm -hmm. what are some of the things that you'd like to bring over? The mentality. The mentality. They were they were competitive. They were aggressive. Uh, intelligent. Uh, the mentality.